and action. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Garden Update. Here we have squash. This is the yellow squash. It looks pretty good. I hate to fix it in the pot, but that's what we have. We have the zucchini squash here, which is actually born as a zucchini. I'm getting ready to harvest sometime soon. Here we have... Oh, I guess I should introduce there where we are. We are at June 20th in 2020. It's the summer solstice. And here we have Ralph, who miraculously is still alive. <laughs> so, there we go. He's looking for moles. He may find some. At any rate, this is a garden that's about right where it ought to be, I guess. Potatoes may be a little bit behind, but here we have, here to here, we have garlic, which has been in for some time and is still good and green. So I'm just going to keep going and going and going. We have some onions up and down here in the middle. The rest of this bed is, of course, asparagus and some stupid little tree that's come up here that I haven't rooted out yet. I'm going to get out the spud bar. Get that. Oh, we broke up. Get it, get it out of there. Here we have a pepper of some sort. I can't remember which one it is. I only got three peppers. I've got a serrano, a jalapeno, and a cayenne. I don't know which this one is. Oh, here's a little asparagus I seem to have missed today. Yeah, it was a kind of pitiful. Let me just leave that one. Okay, now here, in this bed, we have the potatoes. <laughs> On this side, we have the... Some kind of white potatoes. I can't remember what they were now. They're the ones they have at Walmart. And they're doing very, very nicely. And planted around the perimeter, some onions. Now on this side of the potato bed, there are uh, Pontiac red potatoes, and they're going to be ready for long, I believe. Okay, here over here in the herbs, everything's doing just fine. All the herbs are. Doing well, nothing really new, except they're much bigger. The only new thing is I tore out some of the cilantro and planted new cilantro. Over here, the big news is we took out the peas, which are right here. And put uh, Roma beans in there. Here's the collard. Doing pretty nice. Got beans in the middle. We <laughs> have a tomato, which is almost as tall as me, and it probably will be tomorrow. It's doing very, very nicely, and boom. Yes, it has tomatoes on it. Beets are giving it up. Well, now here's some beans. Here are the 
beads, which are just about gone. Here are some radishes that should just about gone. This area, well, let's see. This area will be something new next week. Here we have a big old pepper in the old asparagus patch. Another big old pepper in the old asparagus patch. Have some cornichon, cucumbers. We got some asparagus out of that. The um, eggplant, which I threatened to kill. Is blooming, so I'm letting him go. Over here, this bed, we have the fennel, the old fennel. We have the new fennel right here. This is going to be too much longer, I don't think. It looks very nice. Over here, we have the new chervil. Here in this middle part, we've planted beans. Over here, we have the leeks. Row beans. We have a row of uh, parsnips. A row of carrots, which will be gone in a week or so. Over here, we have the famous breaking ground thing, and you can see that bean back breaking through. There'll be eight of them tomorrow morning. And all these tomatoes. They look very nice. 